Hello. Guess who I am? I want to play Shia now. I'm taking off very shortly here. My little spacecraft will be taking off shortly here. It's getting faster, firing main faster up. This he should sure getting up, getting up. Not that the guy right now I got ready to flying in the atmosphere now. Can I let's see if I can make escape velocity here? Can I make escape velocity here? I'm up there in that with you. I'm moving at pretty fast speed now. I'm trying to get flying up and I'm moving up. As you know, I'm up in the stratosphere now. I'm on the roof, getting higher in the sky. I think the sky getting get darker the higher you go. Not right. Okay, I'm on, I made it. I escaped into space. Now I'm on my way to where I'm supposed to go. But who knows? Well, I'm now actually I'm on, I'm on I just just see orbit here by Earth. This is what this is what space is. This is what astronauts see. They ready to take off when they're taking off into space. This is what they see. The sky get darker and darker. You go down. The sky getting lighter. Lighter and lighter and lighter. Down, they start getting lighter, lighter, lighter. So, what's happening here is it's getting lighter. That will be what we see if it's coming into the atmosphere of Earth. It does get lighter, the sky gets lighter as you go further down you go, the bluer the sky gets. I mean, the further down we go, the further the sky gets. But I'm doing this on the computer, generated target here. And looking at this computer program, there's a genius little thing, Google's Earth, but you can do a lot of genius little things. This is how science fiction people make some science fiction movies. That, right now, look at this, I'm on Earth. Now. If we look here, but what do you think gonna happen if I were to take this and move this around? I'm flying over the earth, but at a high altitude here now, and it will lower down to 600, 400, 500. Uh, you gotta watch, I'm gonna bounce off weather, sorry, old weather satellite now. What I think I'm doing here, I'm using a weather satellite and I'm looking at the Earth from a viewpoint, view factor here. Now, let's see how, this is how they would use, just what they use. If you're watching Star Trek, the old episode of Star Trek, they would have done the same, just how they would have done. This is how they saw the bridge monitor in Star Trek. What I'm doing here, it's how the suit bridge monitor on Star Trek. Same thing. So they're a little more realistic and I could do on that out with, with Google Earth. We're gonna try to make it look more realistic. What do you think the people will see the entering the atmosphere? Oh, the sky to get lighter. They will see. We're gonna make it look like what do you think the people are going to see at entering the atmosphere? 
Guys start to get lighter as you're going in because I mean, daytime the sky is at that point you're pretty far up in the atmosphere. You're not going to see too much. But the high up, like getting in, you're going to get closer. As you get in, you get closer. Closer you get, you're going to see this. Closer you get, what do you see? As you're going to see, a sense of connection and a force. What do you think an extraterrestrial being can look at? Now, I'm going to remove this. There's a sky here. What do you think? After a terrestrial being here flying over, he sees land. He sees the mountains here. I'm looking at here. What else does? He doesn't see the lines. That's a computer generated picture via satellite. Now, go down to shoot over an area of the Arctic here. Looking at it, that really what happens if you start going up? The atmosphere, you start to move over the atmosphere. What is going to happen? Think about it. What's going to happen? You see, the atmosphere is getting lighter. It's starting to get darker and darker and darker. Where do you go up? The darker that atmosphere is going to get. Now, where do you go down? So going up, the atmosphere getting darker. Now the sky getting bluer. Why do you think the sky getting blue? Think about it. What happens? I'm at an hour to uh, six nautical miles. I'm going to keep going up. Now, see? Guess where I'm now? Now I'm in outer space. I see the now to 50 nautical miles, and I just see the atmosphere state velocity. Now, let's see where I go next. Oh, I go into space. All this is software from Google Earth, but I'm just using it to show you what. This is how to do some. This is what you use in some science, science fiction movies. They may use it as a uh, effect. But you know what? That's how to use it. This is technology. STUU 77 here signing off.